students myself jamika and today we are going to revise the topic process recording so let's start so first let me tell you a brief introduction about process recording what is process recording it is a uh, a tool that we used in teaching counseling and in psychiatric field right it is also known as interpersonal relations recording patient nurse interaction or interviews and it is being utilized as a tool to help them in assessing nursing students to acquire understanding of and competence in interpersonal relationships so whenever we need to maintain interpersonal relationship this tool is very much important let's start with the slides so process recording are the written reports of verbal interaction with the client whatever we are talking with the client whatever we are communicating that we need to write and we need to preserve as a report they are verbatim to extend that is possible accounts written by the nurse or student as a tool for improving interpretation communication techniques definition process recording is a written account recording of all that transpired during and immediately following the nurse patient interaction it is a recording of the conversation during the interaction of the interview between the nurse and the patient in psychiatric setup with the nurse inferences so in by which an account of the visit for a purpose of bringing out the interplay between the nurse and the patient in relation to the objectives of the visit what is the specific objectives of this process recording that we need to mention now purpose so there are mainly three purpose to critically analyze communicate communication and its effect on behavior behavior of the individual to gain the patient's confidence and get his cooperation to establish rapport with the patient so these are the purpose and there are three tools as we use this process recording so process recording as a teaching tool process recording as a self evaluation tool and process recording as a therapeutic tool so these are also a purpose of process recording to study the patient psychological social and emotional behavior when you talk to someone or when you talk to patient you will come to know that what patient is going through or what patient is thinking for a particular situation or particular person so when you are talking then you will come to know about the emotional state or emotional behavior of the patient it helps to increase the ability to identify problem and develop skill in solving them while talking you can identify what patient is suffering from or patient is having what kind of problem and you will learn how to solve that problem it means you will develop a problem solving skill it gives student an opportunity to gain the ease and function in written expression that are important for professional development now let's see what are the goals goals and objective establish a therapeutic nurse patient relationship whenever we wanted to establish a therapeutic nurse patient relationship this tool is very much important so now what is therapeutic relationship so therapeutic relationship between nurse 
and patient differs from both social and intimate relationship in that the nurse maximizes inner communication skills, understanding of human behavior and personal strength in order to enhance the client's growth. So the focus of the relationship is on the client's ideas, experience and the feelings in therapeutic nurse-patient relationship. Next one is to give necessary health education to the patient. To obtain the identification data of the patient. To assess the insight of the patient. Now, what are the guidelines that we need to follow. So there are general guidelines process recording is one method by which we can record the content of an interview, record the conversation, verbal time, Use a recording device and obtain patient's permission for using it. This will in reviewing the session if needed. And each process recording should be concluded with a summary. So there are features, right? So it may be returned during or immediately followed by the interaction. And as I told you, like we can use this as a therapeutic tool as well. Next one is prerequisites of process recording. So before starting the process recording, what as an nurse we need to do is getting consent from patient for the possibility of cassette recording. Confidentiality should be maintained and physical setting calm and quiet environment we need to provide. So for that what we need to do, we need to develop awareness about our own habitual verbal and non-verbal communication pattern and the effect on the others. And we can identify the thoughts and feelings in relation to self and others and to increase the observation skills, ability to identify the problem and gain skills in solving them. So what kind of environment we need to provide? So there will be an interview room or we can conduct process recording bedside also if separate room is not available. Then, what are the steps for process recording? First, what we need to prepare, preparation. Then, record nurse-patient interaction. Written process recording may begin with taken during the interview. Identification data and present complaint. So before that, what preparation you need to do? So you need to prepare introductory material, description of the patient, right? I will show the format later on. Let me discuss first. So first one is description of the patient in that name, age, educational level, health problems, or length of stay in the hospital you can mention. Then date, time, place, duration of infection recording of nurses own thoughts and feelings before the interaction that also we need to record reason for choosing the patient for process recording why uh, you are choosing this particular patient for process recording that we need to mention objectives now we are moving towards the objectives see here i'm showing the format for the process recording. Present complaints, 
what patient is having complaints right now according to patient and according to relatives we need to mention history of presenting complaints aims and objectives so objectives should be formulated prior to meeting of the patient and should be specific and function as a guide for interaction short term goals we need to prepare to establish a therapeutic relationship with the patient and long term goals we can prepare to to prepare the patient and family to follow up at the habitation then what record of interaction between the nurse and patient so nurse and patient whenever you are recording or whenever you are asking the patient about the history and complaints and all so a nurse should be truthful in recording what is said and did by self and by the patient then observation of the non verbal response like eye contact restlessness pacing biting nail or changing the position this all are the non verbal response that also we need to record then nurses own thoughts and feelings should be recorded separately after writing the interaction process it means what nurse was feeling by the time when she was talking to the client patient overall response towards the interaction to be recorded so where will you record the non verbal response here i am showing the column non normal non verbal response uh, for patient and for nurse as well so whatever verbal response from the nurse side that you need to write left hand side and in patient response you need to write whatever patient is speaking and if he is not speaking then what kind of response you were showing i how was the eye contact he was stressless he was biting the nails he was changing the position that you need to mention here in outline for the process recording then how you need to analyze this interaction so analysis of the interaction should be done by interpreting the verbal and non verbal behavior and patient thoughts and feeling evident from the interaction communication technique used by the nurse also to be recorded and nurse thoughts and feeling at the end of the interaction and plan made for further interaction should be stated time required to record is 30 minutes like 20 minutes we can take for interaction and 10 minutes for the conclusion and planning for the next interview so once you finish your process recording you need to summarize how the process uh, process recording should end with a brief summary to evaluate whether the initial objectives for the interaction were met or not or if the objectives were not met we need to provide a brief analysis for the reason now at last the conclusion conducting a process recording gives the opportunity to improve the communication skill self awareness assessment learning to listen observation and role playing a process recording provides with an additional opportunity to practice nursing values and ethics so this was all about process recording hope everyone understood thank you